All right, guys. Hi. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Whatever it is. I don't know. I just spent the last like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to prop this up <laughs> in this new area. And I failed miserably. So here I am. <laughs> Anyways, so tonight, I know my Instagram, guys. I'm sorry you can only see like half of my face. I don't know how to fix that. Well, I don't want to go over there to fix it. So I'm going to stand up here in a minute, and then you're not going to be able to see my face um, on Facebook. So welcome to another edition of Chalking with Baby Cakes. I am moved back into my, um, what is this, into my crafting area, my laundry room. This is, uh, we put this together when I first started this. We tore out a wall over here that um, I... It uh, separated the laundry room from an office and we made this whole area except for the laundry room portion of it a crafting area for me now typically I like to do my lives in the um, other room because there's not a lot of background noise like there is in here so because we've got the water heater in here we've got the heater heater in here and the air conditioning so it, it tends to get a little loud sometimes in here and I don't have my laptop set up or anything yet, so we're just gonna go with this. I've got the iPad, I've got the phone going. Let's see where we can go. Let's hope I can get back up, wow. <laughs> Whew, getting old is horrible, guys. All right, so as you're hopping on, say hi. I will try to say hi back. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it or not um, because the way I have this, the iPad and everything tilted. So I have a couple of projects real quick. Hopefully they, they shouldn't take too terribly long at all, to be honest with you. This first one, this is a stencil. So uh, the purple stencils are ones that I make. Now I have, I am a member of a couple of different SVG clubs. So this was a stencil that I got out of that SVG club. And I make my own stencils. So if you are ever interested in learning how to make your own stencils, uh, let me know. Just, uh, what dropped? Something just dropped on my foot and I don't know what it was. Oopsies. Just let me know. Uh, I use an Icon Art stencil making kit. I can also make, I can make custom stencils, all the things, right? All right, so you saw it. This, so there's two different types of emulsion paper with the making the silkscreen stencils. Hey Serena, how are you? And uh, there's a blue one and a purple one. I prefer the purple one, even though the purple one, the silkscreen portion of it is a lot denser. And sometimes the paste is harder to get through. Um, but I still prefer the purple over um, the blue because the blue is not sticky. Hey Dawn, how are you doing? So those are my two options for stencils. Now what I have over here, and I have this set up similar to the way I had it set up in the other room. I've got um, all my pastes nice and organized over here. That's, that's actually something new after uh, cleaning up the craft room area in here. Um, and, um, I have my water bath actually right behind me and my puppy pads where I'll be drying the stencils at. Um, but everything else is just gonna be the same, like how to do everything, so. So we are in February now, guys. Are you guys happy about that? I don't know about you, but January was not my month in 2021. So I'm hoping that, um, February goes much better. It's already started out better in the sense that we now have our second working toilet, second. Um, so we're kind of doing a bathroom remodel, not because we want to, but because we had some issues with the septic and it caused our bathroom to kind of flood a little bit. Not gonna lie, not happy about that. Hi, Candy, how are you? I'm glad you caught me live too. So, 
we're doing a bathroom remodel because of the septic. Now, the other thing with that is, you know, whenever you, especially since, you know, we didn't build this house, we bought this house. It was an, not an old house, but, you know, a little older. <coughs> so you just never can tell how things are done in the house, right? You never know. So we're in the middle of doing the bathroom slash bedroom remodel down here in the basement because of the septic. And we notice that the, the master bathroom toilet was leaking into the downstairs bathroom. And we never really noticed it. It just started um, not too long ago showing in the ceiling that we had those little, uh, I don't know, what are those called? Those little marks on your ceiling where you could tell that something was going bad. So we saw that. So as we're pulling apart the ceiling and all the things, water's pouring from the top. Not happy about that. So we ended up having to replace some of that stuff and uh, reseal the bathroom upstairs, the bathroom toilet upstairs. So this was the first project. If you saw, that was really quick and easy. Um, like I said, that was a stencil that I made. Um, I got the stencil from um, a an SVG club that I belong to. And then I made the stencil. Isn't that cute? Let me put it to the side. Now these next stencils are ones that I did purchase. And there's four, so it's a quad pack. So what I'm going to do is I've got four five by five pieces of wood cut out here. Um, let me just kind of make some room. So I've got those four pieces of wood, and then I've got these four little stencils. And these stencils, they are um, Proverbs, the proverb saying. So you have one is, she is far more precious than jewels, Proverbs 31.10. She is clothed with strength and dignity, Proverbs 23, or 31, 25. I can't, I can't read, guys. The teaching of kindness is on her tongue, and then her, her children rise up and call her blessed. So we're going to do these Proverbs 31s, and then I'm going to be done. So later on, though, what I'll probably do is I'll probably do something on the second side of these, um, just because, you know, I like to, I like to make my stuff double-sided for the most part. It is a good saying, isn't it, Candy? I'm so glad you, you were able to catch me live too. All right. So these ones, these are going to so honestly, guys, this is going to be really quick and easy. I promise because I'm not doing lots of colors, I'm not doing layers, you know, and as long as I'm not doing lots of colors and layers, everything goes by super quick. And I'm only doing, so on these, ooh, actually, I wanna do these ones, the ones with the little, um, this little guy on it. I'm gonna do them on the white because I'm gonna do that little guy in silver. And I'm just really hoping that I have this centered correctly. Cause you know, I don't like to measure anything. I just kind of eyeball it. All right. So we're gonna use dark gray and silver on the white ones. And on the black ones, we're just gonna use plain white. Simple, easy, and not a whole lot to it. And then I'll let you get back to your Monday night. So we have the Super Bowl coming up quick. Anybody else gonna be watching the Super Bowl? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be watching it. I mean, it'll be on the TV. Whether I'm actually paying attention or not, I don't know. 
but we do have to watch it because um, for those of you who know, we are um, kind of local to the Kansas City area, um, even though I'm a couple hours away from it. <laughs> but we're gonna be rooting on them Chiefs. So I know the school is actually having a Chiefs week this week, so they're doing all kinds of different um, dressing up all kinds of different ways to support the Chiefs this week, like a little spirit week. I think a lot of schools are doing that this week, actually, here in Kansas City, or here in Missouri. It's off awesome that they're going to the Super Bowl back to back like this. All right. There we go. Done. And of course, I'm putting them in the water bath. Now, just remember, guys, when you're putting them in the water bath, when you're doing this stuff, you don't want to leave them in the water bath too terribly long. Um, because the longer you leave them in the water bath, the more likely they will lose their stickiness. So um, I'm not leaving them in the water bath too long. As soon as I get off of here, I typically wash them and then I let them dry. And I always rinse off. I always wipe down the excess water off of the back of it, and that helps to keep it from uh, losing its stickiness because you really don't want that to happen. You can still use your stencils after you after they lose their stickiness. Um, you just have to be more careful with them because you don't want them to move around on you, and that's what the stickiness is good for is it keeps it from moving around on you. Um, as long as, as long as the silkscreen portion of it is not clogged, you can use these stencils as often as you like. But once the silk, so, once the silkscreen portion of it gets clogged, it's going to be hard to reuse that stencil. So you'll want to get them cleaned and dried right quick after using them. The other thing, when you are pulling it up, you do not want to pull it at a diagonal because if you pull the stencil up at a diagonal, um, you will risk stretching the silkscreen portion of it. Now, stencils that have minimal silkscreen on it, um, it doesn't stretch as easily per se, um, but you still have, you run the risk of uh, it stretching out. So you don't want to do that. Now, you'll see, instead of doing the squeegee, I'm just kind of doing this with my hands because it's it's a smaller stencil, so I'm not um, as, and it's already sticky um, because it's the first time I'm using these. So I'm not too worried about um, getting all the air bubbles out because all the air bubbles, there are no air bubbles in it. And you can kind of, if you go over it with your, hands and stuff, you can feel whether there's air bubbles in there or not. Okay. Bubbles. And we're almost done, guys. See, I told you this would be quick and easy. I have to figure out what I'm going to make the rest of the week. This is some of the stuff that I had planned um, to do in January. January kind of got away from me. Um, I did do a lot, a little bit of chalking this weekend. Um, I did some chalking and, uh, I have them being sealed upstairs as we speak. The sealer, the sealer is drying. So I'm excited to bring those to you guys. Did you see that on the 11th will be my February live sale? So I would love for you to join me at seven o'clock <coughs> on Thursday, February the 11th for my live sale. I've got 40 items I think it is picked out, but not only will I have my items, I don't know if you've seen uh, me post some of their stuff, but uh, Zakaya and Sarah's Art Studio, they do beautiful pour paintings and uh, different types of paintings like that on canvas. 
So I have a few of their items that they're going to, uh, that they want, they were uh, nice enough to allow me to have in my live sale. So I will have their items in there too. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, if you can't join me at seven o'clock, that's okay. Um, you can shop the replay. So I will have that available to you for replay shopping. And that's all I got, guys. Let's see. I would love that, Candy. All right, that's it. All right, that's all I got. So I'm gonna pull you up, hopefully without um there we go all right there we go i would love that candy that would be perfect um i will definitely put the business address out there um i do have on the 20th i believe is my uh february open hours um and i have an open chalk and talk that afternoon um so i'll put that i'll put those links down below so you can see them and uh, hopefully you'll be able to make it out on the 20th um, and we can uh, get that get that going for you. How's that sound? But that's all I got for you guys tonight. Just so quick, easy chalking. Um, whew. Let me see here. I don't know if I can. Maybe that'll work a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> my Instagram people can't really see me too well because uh, of the way I have the phone. <laughs> So I'm going to, I'm going to stop those guys. Bye Instagram. Just because there we go. All right. So yes, I would love for you to come out candy. I will drop all that information below. If you guys, if anybody has any questions about, um, wanting to do what I do, uh, joining me, uh, doing your own little uh, chalk and talk. Um, if you gather five people, I will come to you. Um, so it's great for birthday parties, uh, birthday parties, um, team building, family gatherings, all kinds of different things. Girls night out, mom and me, you name it, we can do it. Um, and my live sale, like I said, will be on the 11th and then open hours on the 20th if that's a Saturday, it's that day. So anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope you had a wonderful and blessed Monday and uh, I will talk with you guys later. Bye-bye guys.